So this is the truck 328 Nation White truck. This truck came in because it was having engine problems and as you can see engine is repaired now. Crankshaft was was replaced and uh, we have a new crankshaft running with no problems. Um, when you do an engine repair you have to do series of tests to see if the engine is running fine. A regeneration is what is the best to do. A regen will actually test the engine completely at some point um, before taking it to the road. And when you do a regen, you're actually gonna try to do as much as um, fatigue to the engine so you can see the engine performing, depending performance, how the engine is running, if there is any oil leaks, coolant leaks, and anything else. If the regen is successfully done, that means then the engine is ready to go for a road test. And uh, this truck uh, is completely done now, transmission and everything is back in place. Um, and um, I was running the truck, the ignition is off. Alright, so engine was running. Here is the mileage of the, of the engine, so that is the mileage. If you wonder, that is the mileage when the engine broke down. The crankshaft in this case. So, engine is running with no problems, so let's start it up so you can hear it. And engine doesn't want to start. It was just running. You can see the temperature. It was running. I had it running. It now doesn't want to start. It should start right away. It should start right away. So I had it running because I needed to test everything out. And now it doesn't want to run. It's betraying me. This engine doesn't want to run anymore. So I want to check the pressure right here, which is the low pressure side of this. Let's see what's going on. We have pressure right here. I can feel we have pressure. So there is an issue somewhere else. This is so weird. I hate when things like that happens. This is what I was going to talk about on this video. See, this engine was repaired. Engine cam, no, I mean the truck cam over here on a tow truck, it wasn't running at all. It start and after having it running, threw it off and now it doesn't want to start again. This is weird. This is what you guys gotta keep in mind when you guys are doing repairs. Then sometimes these are the way things happen. They happen just like that. It didn't give me, didn't give me any warning or something. It just okay. all pressure is up. All right, but it's gonna die if I continue on doing that. Well, 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 this is no good. Sadly, this is what is going on right now. And I wasn't expecting this on this truck. Actually, I was showing, I was going to tell, I was going to show you how this engine is running, but it betrayed me and it made me um, look like a fool. Anyway. This is the reason why these trucks are here because they need repairs and if they need repairs they need to be on a repair shop if they don't need the repairs they don't have to be here now i was going to say then after having the engine running the air compressor went bad because that is what went bad on this one that was the point of this video talking about what things went bad after the engine repair and the air, air compressor went bad it's right there and now uh, it is so frustrating 
because we had the engine completely apart. We had the engine outside the frame and it was so easy to replace the air compressor, the uh, air compressor right there. We just remove and replace. There was nothing in between. And now it's right there is stuck in between the frame and the engine. So to remove it is not going to be easy. Sadly, that's how everything goes. Anyway, uh, I guess this is how everything works. I mean, no, all the projects are 100% perfect and this one is not an exception. Sadly, I was going to show you that, but this is an update. An update is supposed to be what is going on and what is going on is the engine is plug on place and it's not running anymore after having it running. I have to check all that. I don't know what went bad on this one, so I need to check all that. So uh, I'll give you an update later. I'm gonna do a different video showing you what was the issue and showing you what was the cause of this fail then happened after the engine was running. Hopefully it's nothing major. Hopefully it's just something then, um, then just pop uh, randomly with no reason, hopefully. But, um, up to right now, this is what we have. Anyway, uh, you, as a mechanic, you have to pay attention to problems like this. When truck, the truck comes to your shop and uh, you realize then the truck needs, let's say, an engine or a transmission. It wasn't running for a couple months or a couple of weeks. And... Um, uh, you put it all together and once you put everything together there is another issue that wasn't part of the initial labor that you uh, were told about. Now um, we have to do different things. I mean like I wasn't expecting all this as I say. I mean like I was not actually thinking that the engine was not going to run after running it and I was not thinking that the compressor was going to go bad because everything supposedly was in a good condition. But one million miles means a lot of miles. So it's expected you know to have something like this. I mean probably this is just a lack of um we can say uh, a lack of recommendation, I didn't recommend, or I, I just like was too, how can I say it? Um, I, just, I just told them everything was okay. So thinking is not enough. You actually have to do. And this is probably my uh, fault. And yeah, it is my fault because I supposed to actually um, say then we need to replace the air compressor in this case if this happened right now i'm going to recommend it from now on then we need to replace the air compressor if the truck has almost one million miles when it comes to the other issues and this truck has then uh, doesn't want to start anymore well that is a totally different issue then i'm going to be addressing later and for that i'm going to do a different video showing you what was the reason of this engine failing after the repair well, this is just an update, as I said before, and sadly this truck betrayed me right now. It makes me look like a fool, but it's not going to stay like this. This is going to get fixed. This is the example. Then there is many things can go wrong after an engine repair. So you gotta be ready for the other things that can come out. Then we're in part of the deal of repairing an engine. Well, um, I hope you guys like this video and if you do like this video, um, just comment below, go to the comment section, also you can go to Instagram, look for me, Francisco Maya, YouTube, you can see all the things that I'm doing there, um, as always, subscribe to the channel, share it with anybody that wants to learn about these machines, and thank you for watching.